Do it. Do, do it. it. Do it now. Do it. Ten deep in. No. no. One, two, no. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to dip your head. <laughs> We know that yawning is contagious. But can watching someone shiver actually make you feel cold? We humans are excellent mimics. We ape each other's body language, we copy each other's sartorial style, and we even have something called mirror neurons. Neurons that fire both when we observe and when we take part in an action. Think of the saying, when you smile, the whole world smiles with you, because that smiling action can't help but trip your mirror neurons into turning your own frown upside down just by looking at someone smiling. Which points to the fact that we're pretty open to suggestion, even if it's unpleasant. Take, for example, a recent study about temperature contagion by Harrison et al. In the study, the researchers measured the right and left hand temperatures of 36 participants while they watched videos. They watched an actor placing his hand in ice water, an actor filling a container with steaming water from a tea kettle, and submerging his hands. And they watched neutral scenes of the actor resting his hands in a still container of water. The results? Well, there was no change in temperature of the participants when they viewed the warm water or neutral scenes. But seeing those blocks of ice bob around the actor's hands had a measurable effect the participants' body temperatures actually dropped. The idea is that when we see others react to cold, well, we empathize, imagining it for ourselves and causing physiological changes in our body. Lead researcher Dr. Neil Harrison wrote in the study, quote, Humans are profoundly social creatures, and much of human success results from our ability to work together in complex communities. This would be hard to do if we were not able to rapidly empathize with each other and predict one another's thoughts, feelings, and motivations. In other words, we just can't help it. Empathy is hardwired, and to what degree depends on the person. In the meantime, if your own shivering is compounded by watching another person display their winter's discontent, take heart in knowing that you can brain hack your way into warmth by indulging in some nostalgic tunes. Yep, in 2012, J.J.M. Wingerhutz of Tilburg University and colleagues published their study, which found that listening to songs made people feel not only nostalgic, but also physically warmer. So what about you? What's a nostalgic album choice that you can drag out to, uh, stay warm on a cold day. Me, I always go with Neil Young's Harvest. For me, it's ACDC's Back in Black. Let us know what your favorite nostalgic song is in the comments below, and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.